and welcome back to another episode here on the loft pretty much the estate loft um we've still got birds at home but all you know these birds are getting ready to start being released we've got a little bit of rain today it's just a constant um bit of a constant rain throughout the day it's not super heavy but i thought um what a good opportunity to get the birds back out again they can go out um the plan today is to let them out through these doors i'll take the trap um the training box down from the outside and we'll open this up and they can all just go out there they probably won't go very far today just because it is um a little bit wet out there so i'm hoping that they'll probably just hang around up here they might enjoy a bit of the rain some might go for a bit of a flap around uh we do have what do we got in here we got 19 birds back they're all very keen to go look at them so we've got 19 birds here out of the 20 we had so the only one we're missing is the nest mate to this black one from adam archer the all black one i was expecting her probably to be sitting around on a loft when i turned up this morning but um unfortunately no she's not here but the birds are so keen to go out look at them so what i might do is um, get that training box off from the outside. I'm gonna try and spend a little bit of time out here today, but I'm hoping I can trap them a lot quicker today. Now they know where they're meant to be, um, and hopefully they're more comfortable and sitting on the loft. We, we might actually see a few flying today. I'm hoping that we might get a couple of small little laps around here, but we'll just have to wait and see, we don't know. This is the first day um, we've actually had rain with this loft, and it doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of water here um, and maybe just a little tiny bit on the front there. Not too bad, um, but you know, obviously that over time is not a good thing. So um, I'll make a note of that and we will figure out a way to probably try and um, stop that rain coming in, whether we just put some kind of sheets across the front here and leave this open so we can just shut this open and shut. But uh, we'll see, we'll get plenty of um, options. That we can do we definitely need to look at it though because that's yeah that might rot out over a long period of time but it's very strange for us to be getting rain because we're in summer now and we generally go like 100 days without rain coming into this season so yeah everyone's looking good i think it's time to get yous out because i need to give yous um a bit of a clean you can see their poos are really dark that's probably because all the rocks and bits and pieces I was pecking at yesterday. You guys ready to go out for a fly? All right, let me get this training box off from the outside. Yeah, that one's really keen. Nah, not yet. You can just wait, just wait. I hope you're ready for this because this is rain. Hey, thunder. Oh, look how friendly he's getting. He, he went through that stage where he's a little bit, um, a bit of a pain. Firstly, I need to, um, See if they're hungry. Come on. Alright, that's what we want. That's what we <laughs> that is exactly what we want. Alright, you guys are ready to go out. Let's get this box off. Come on. Alright, so look at this rain. It's just this constant drizzle. That is off. Uh, the, the black hen still might be around here somewhere. We just don't know. She could be sitting in a tree or something. She could have been sitting around here all night and she sort of went out to find a bit of water or something. I don't know. But um, still still could be around. She might turn up when we let these birds out. You just do not know. She could, um, she could have flew too far and maybe she's hiding from all this rain. But uh, we don't know. We do not know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this little thing in here and hopefully try and get these birds out for a bit of a fly. I might even try and set the camera up on the landing board. It is a lot of rain at the moment, so I don't know how the camera's gonna enjoy that. Because obviously I get the um, drops of rain on the screen and it just plays up a bit. But they're keen to get out. So let me try and do something and we'll sort this out. All right, let's give this a little trial. Come on, outside, outside. Outside, 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 outside. 
Outside, 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 outside. Come on. Outside. Outside. Go, go, go. Outside, outside. Go, 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 go. Go, beefcake. All right, so that worked out pretty well. That's really good. They're all sitting up on the roof there. I thought I'd just bring the camera down because you can see they didn't light the camera and they all pushed over to this side, but looking really good. They're all on the roof and that's kind of where I want them. That's where we kind of went wrong yesterday. So basically tomorrow, um, I'm going to try and get them out again as well, but uh, until we get them trapping fluently and sitting on the roof, um, we might just keep going with the bob trap. Eventually I'd like to open up these doors just because we have so many birds and it's I feel like it's better to have a big door so they can just go the little it's not really practical the little door to let them out with all the time. That's why I've made these big doors here. So we'll get into that later on, but I think for the time being we'll pretty much um just run with these birds being exiting through the trap. But this is what I wanted. I wanted them to come out and enjoy the rain. At least um, this is an improvement from yesterday and hopefully if they're on that landing board we should be able to call them in a bit easier. And they'll probably be pretty wet so they won't want to go too far. As long as they don't get too wet and they can't actually fly up on the, the landing board. But there, yeah. oh no, here we go. Going down to be grasshoppers again. Well, you got a bit of a shock today, because I'm not going to allow it as much as yesterday, I'll tell you. Yeah, little feral, he's the last one. Oh, he's pretty quick. So they're actually going quite crazy. What I'm going to do is today, I'm not going to allow this as much. I'm going to try and um, try and get them up flying a little bit or try and get them back up onto the loft. I don't really want them all sitting um, on the ground and running around like this. I just don't want it to become a habit like yesterday. I just, it's not something I wanted. First time out, yeah, that's acceptable because, you know, they're like little kids. They're out running around having a good time. You don't like the rain either, do you? No. But what I might do shortly is just start coaxing them back this way. Um, and then if we can, we can get them up into the air as well. Because they um, they can definitely fly. They show, showed us all that yesterday. But I don't want them pecking around because they're not chickens. So we need to... It's either flying, or it's on the loft, or in the loft. None of this business, you know, that's not how I want my birds. I want them flying, or back in here, so that, you know, come race day or training or whatever, they, they listen to me, they're on the ball, so. Let me go try and round these little birdies up. Actually, something just spooked them, and we got a little bit of airtime action. Here they come. They're coming around, they're coming around. They're in, here they go. Meow actually flying together which is awesome I need to go out here a bit so I can see them don't know where they're gone now oh no they're coming here they are, here they are. oh look at them all this is really good 
apart from pigeons dropping everywhere, but they're, they're going to get the hang of it. They might actually be landing a lot quicker than I expected. So we've still got a few sitting down over the back there, but we've got quite a few of these. I'd assume most of these are Leon Storm kind of, or Titan babies, it looks like it, because they are, the last round I bred last year were just exceptional. They were straight up in the air. So these guys might be the same. If we can try and keep that rhythm on them. Whoop, oh, you nearly took my head off that one. Oh, that's good. I, you know, they did that all themselves, so it's quite good I might try and get them up again I didn't even do anything before which was fantastic just got to try and get them to land on the loft more I think I think that's probably going to be handy instead of landing down over there but oh those two little babies nearly crash into each other Well, that was a good first fly. It's the second time out, they're doing pretty good. I think that's most of them. It's hard to tell. There's quite a lot of other birds flying around here as well. So, now we're talking. Just got to keep them, keep onto them like this, and I think we'll be fine. I just gave them a little bit of a hand clap, and then they all went up, which is good. If we can keep onto them like this, I think we'll be pretty good. Definitely doing a lot more flying today. And I think we might be able to keep them up like this for a few more times, which is good. I'm going to get hit in the head here by a pigeon in a minute because... Oh, we've got them land on the roof. That's good. Good start there. Hopefully that will encourage more of them to do it. Apart from we've got pigeons sort of sitting around everywhere, but we're getting there. One day at a time. You can just... See the amount of pigeons that are flapping around. I can't wait for them all to sort of stick together. And they're all landing where my house is going to be. Beefcake, what are you doing, buddy? Beefcake! Come on! <whistles> Come this way. There's a few pigeons out there. A little barless hen. I'm going to try and get them up again. Good. most of them are coming back up on top of the loft which is really good I want to see if I can try and call them in now they've been out for a little while um, so we'll see come on come on come on Those two, the barless hen and that split are already in here. This little guy, he come in, which is good. It's fantastic to see, but the rest of them not ready yet, which is a little bit annoying, but we just gotta be patient. Just gotta take it slow and steady. The fact that they're all in the loft this time, you can see they're having a little bit of a shower and a bath up here, which is not too bad. I don't mind them being up on top of the loft. There's a few, I think, walking around. I might try and coax them back up. Um, you wanna come back out again? I might let you out. You know how this system works, which is pretty good. I'm very impressed. Uh, I think that's one of Leon Storms. Could be uh, Thunder's Nestmate, actually. Well, the one after, that round after. There was a blue bar and a checker. I think that's the one, so. Look, I'm happy. I'm happy today. It's less stressful. As long as we can get these birds in before I leave, which is the main thing. I might give this place a little bit of a clean while I'm waiting. Let them have a little bit of free time, I think, just on the loft. Um, that's good that they're up there. Good start. Come on. Up you get. So this is what I've been doing. I've just been coaxing them back up on top of the loft, which is 
which is pretty good. Oh, we got one over there. Just coaxing them up. Just get them comfortable to being on top of the loft. I think when they're up there, it's going to be a lot easier to call them in. And, no, it's good. They're just having a little bit of a bath, shower, whatever you want to call it. But they are enjoying this weather. I'm going to clean that loft out and I'll make sure I try and call them in probably an hour before I leave. I might have to come back out later on this afternoon if none have trapped in by then and just lock up properly, shut the trap up. But uh, yeah, it seems to be going alright so far. Definitely a massive improvement on yesterday. It's probably good that um, they are a little bit wet. It's, you know, they're not going to try and fly too far. But yeah, we're getting there. I'm pretty, a lot happier today with them. We'll give them a feed in that hour before I let them in and any that um, don't trap in, they're going to miss out on that dinner. We need to start getting pretty strict on them because I can't have them sitting around all day out here just because they're just going to be hawk bait pretty much. So, got to stick together as a flock you guys. You want to hop up on the loft? Of course it's thunder. Of course that was thunder, you know. He was sitting up in this tree there yesterday. The loft is nice and clean now. I gave it a good old scrape. We've got a um, little blue bar coming too while we're waiting. Good thing about this rain is that the birds are going to get to a certain point where they're going to get wet and they're going to be like, oh no, I've had too much. I want to come back into my nice dry warm perch. So that's a benefit. So I want to try and call them in before that happens so that the um, the naughty ones that don't want to come in are going to learn a lesson because they're going to miss out on something to eat and then all the ones that are good and come in, um, they're going to get a little bit of dinner. So why we're just giving them a little bit more time, what we're going to do is just have a quick look at these two birds. I was just having a bit of a hold of them and they were quite nice so I wouldn't mind showing them with you. So I'll sit this little camera down here and then we'll just we'll just grab one. This one here is the first one that come in. I'm pretty sure without looking at the ring numbers, I'd say this one's off Leo and Storm. The Leo and Storm babies seem to be a little bit longer where the um, Titan and Little Storm ones, they are a little bit shorter, but they're much musclier. This one's, this one's pretty wedge-like, so it's gonna be a pretty decent sized bird. See if I can get a bit better lighting here for you. But it's got a nice, the pearl eye on it. I like the pearl eye. But still a bit spindly. It's still a young bird, so it's got a um, fair bit more to go through. But, yeah, overall it's a nice bird. It's going to be quite nice. Let's have a look at this other little blue bar that's up here. We just had another one of the barless splits come in as well. well actually, it's a full barless, that one. There's a bit of noise on the roof because they're trying to have a bath in the grooves of the corrugation. This one, not too bad. I'd say uh, he's been out a bit longer anyway. He's quite a lot more damp, so he's a little bit more uh, all over the place with his feathers. A bit rough looking, but uh, same thing, pearl wire. I would say this one... Uh, I think it's Leon Storms, this one. I think there was only one blue bar anyway that come out of Titan and Little Storm, which was um, that one that escaped out the other week, which is still out on the roof but a beautiful little bird I like him I think it's time to call those birds in on the roof now see who he can get in we'll see how this is all going there's a few there there's beefcake this is other no, they want to try and go out which we don't want come on come on get over here all right I'm gonna go grab some seed and let's see if we can get them in here got some seed Oh, Thunder, you're a good boy, aren't you? You didn't even need to. You just seen me get the seed. You're a very cheeky pigeon. All right, let's try and call some young birds in anyway. We'll get some feeders on the ground. Yeah, that's right. I can hear you making little hoot noises. You're getting excited. You actually could you'd be an interesting character. Come up. Come up. Mom. Don't miss out. Oh, feral. Hey, buddy. Oh, beefcake. Look at this. Come on, come on. 
Oi, Thunder, what are you doing, buddy? Come on. Come on, Olivia's. Let's go inside. Very nice. Come on, come on. I think that's all of them. Wow. I don't even know what to say after yesterday's attempt. Right, okay, you can ha actually I'm going to spoil you today. You can have a good feed. Come on, let's do this. You're such a little crier. Listen to you, cooing away. This is Thunder. If you all remember Thunder, he's starting to become friendly again. Especially with a little, he knows I've got the food. Oh, there's another one on the back. Come on. Can you get out of there, please? Yes, come on. Let me put the food in the container, mate. Young birds, oh, I tell ya. Well, you know why he's hungry? Because he was a little bit naughty yesterday, that's why. Come on! All right, that's pretty good. I've noticed that some of the pigeons that are out before, um, they're actually eating the round pigeon um, sheep poo, which is absolutely disgusting. I've never heard of that before. I don't know if they're confused. I think it's peas or something. So I'm really gonna try and stop them um, being on the ground. That's one of the main reasons. That's disgusting. I'm gonna have to worm these guys again now. So I'm gonna, I have to worm all these guys again probably in the next week or two, I think. So stay tuned for that video because that's gonna be entertaining because um, we've got so many of them now. I'm going to use the tablets, I think. It might even be worth trying to get the worming syrup as well. That might be a, might be easier as these birds get more and more, but um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm going to try a different method. I'm going to try dipping these guys probably soon with the lice stuff as well, because right? this warm weather, these lice are just going crazy. So um, I want to try and keep on top of them. Uh, the birds are pretty good. They don't have too many, but it only takes one or two. And you can see, as like our yesterday videos, there was cockatoos and corellas and all sorts of parrots and doves sort of kicking around there. Um, and I want to make sure that these birds don't um, pick up too many lice from that type of thing as well. So, uh, especially when you're starting to toss them or you're putting them in the basket with other birds from other lofts, you're definitely going to get um, lice. You just, you know, you can't control everything, but you can manage it. So, that's what we're going to try and do. So let them tick away on that. I'm going to spoil them a little bit today, probably feed them a little bit more. Just um, I'm going to reward them because they did so well. I was so impressed how they come in there. I'd say that's all of them. I'm going to count them in a minute when I put the camera down. But they've done well, so I might give them a bit more food than normal. Um, just because it is quite early in the day. It's only like 11 o'clock at the moment. Um, and then we'll just feed them now, get it over and done with. Because uh, they're doing well, they're learning so quick. I'm so like, if you've watched the last two videos, you'll see the massive difference. Those last two videos were shot in the same day. One was in the morning, one was in the afternoon, and that was their first time out. But now we've got a, a little bit of structure. Um, I feel like yeah, that letting them out through that bob trap work really well, and get, you know, obviously the rain helped today as well. They didn't, couldn't go very far, and I think they'll kind of over been out in the rain. The sea, a lot of them are pretty wet, so that's good. It's I'm really happy. Things worked out well today. Young birds can be challenging for for everyone. I assume that most people are probably can relate to me on that one. I might just go get these guys some more food. See how they see them. Let them eat all that because I want them to eat all the wheat. Usually they leave that wheat. The wheat's a bit of a punishment for them. But they don't like it. But gotta make sure you eat all your vegetables, all right? Eat all the wheat, it's nasty, but you gotta eat it. I haven't counted them all, but there's no more birds sort of sitting around on the roof and things like that. So that's a really good start. I'm actually pretty happy today, that was good. They didn't fly for very long, but the fact that they actually got up and flew their self was a really good start. Might open this up too, because I'm gonna be here for a little bit longer. Um, so we'll let them out have a They can keep having a bath if they want. I need to top up their grit But you guys get a little bit more treats because you've been good So 
so I may get them out tomorrow unsure yet I do have to be out here at 6 a.m. in the morning to meet the building supervisor so we can start planning the house build um, and getting some starting to dig some dirt so we'll just see um, if I manage not to have to go to work tomorrow then I probably will but I think we're going to be right if not we might try and get them out Wednesday we'll just see it's just gonna be another busy week but the birds have come along quite well but we'll have them out Friday and probably over the weekend again as well so yeah this is good and pretty happy just takes a little bit of patience I think young birds are yeah it doesn't matter yeah it doesn't really matter if you're in the suburbs or you're out in the middle of the paddock like this uh, they're still gonna find somewhere to land and some problem to give you but I'm happy we didn't well, we've only lost one and that I'm gonna put that down to that hen probably being a little bit too old and a little bit too strong on the wing which um, that was going to be expected in this transition period just because obviously this transition isn't going to be easy the fact that we've only lost one bird so far is pretty good and realistically we haven't lost her yet uh, so there is a potential she might turn up or she might trap into a loft she doesn't have the Western Australian ring on it. She's got a CCP or something. Oh, they want the Sydney rings. So um, I'm hoping someone does the right thing and lets lets her come back here. Hopefully they, you know, report it and then put it on the Facebook page or whatever. And um, you know, I'll see it and I can go get her because there's no point there keeping her because she's not really that good a pigeon. She's pretty useless in that sense. It's just, she's just a nice. Um, nice colour, she's black, kind of like a black, but um, I was having this conversation with Adam Archer last night, I said, it's going to be funny if someone traps her and sees that ring and is like, oh, she's from Sydney, she must be a good bird, but the joke's on them if they do think that and want to keep her, because no, she's not, she's not well bred, um, she was only part of a tiger grizzle project and she didn't, um, she's not carrying the tiger colour anyway, so that was the only reason she was special but she's not so we brought her here to fly her she's a beautiful bird though and i after seeing her fly yesterday i'd really like to get her back and hopefully she comes back and we can just bring her into the flock because she's actually paired up with thunder so thunder's a little bit upset he's lost his girlfriend so if you're watching this and you have her you know send me a message i'll come and get her Got uh, the pink mineral powder and some more grit for them. Starting to go through that one. Gonna buy the next one up, I think, next time, which is like 10 kilos. It's massive, it's like a huge big bucket. So it's expensive, but my birds love this stuff. I'd really like to get my chickens onto eating it. Don't you think about that? Go away. You're out of control. Got some chicken eggs there, but let's see how these guys like this because they'll go crazy for this.
There's definitely a lot of cockbirds there. <laughs> oh, great. Troublemakers. That's what we got. Lots of troublemakers. There's not much I can do for you today, alright? You look very funny when you're wet. That's what happens when you stay outside when you're not meant to. But you can see how much they like it. Look at their little pink beaks. They've got like pink stuff all over their beaks. They really love that pink mineral powder. They love the grit too. They seem to pick out everything bar the shells in it. They, they're not really a huge fan of the shells, but they do like the clay. Um, there's also charcoal in that that they really like, but that pink mineral powder seems to be like candy for them. They're all over it. You can just look at their little pink beaks. See if we can get a better, even pecking it off each other's beaks. You can see right in there. So that is it for another episode here. Birds are surprisingly moving along quite well second time out today they're only out for uh, maybe 40 minutes to an hour around about that so it's not too bad and we was able to trap them pretty well i think this the rain today was um, very beneficial in helping us get them back in with no problems but uh you know, happy all over i think that was really well a few of the birds doing quite well actually they're flying landing on the loft um, trapping quite well there's a few that are you know they come along so I reckon next time we get them out, we're going to see a lot more action and flying. They're very comfortable with being on the loft second time out, which is fantastic. There was a little bit of flying in today, um, and but I reckon in the next over the next week we're going to see some some proper flying, which is going to be very exciting because um, we've all been waiting so long for this. Look at big beefcake. He looks exhausted. Look at him. He's like, oh. I've been out flying and walking and having a bath. I'm tired. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop some comments down below. Um, hit that like button. If you like these videos, you want me to keep posting more, you like these longer ones, just hit that like button. Definitely helps my videos out. And thank you very much. Hit subscribe. Um, catch us in the next video. See you tomorrow, most likely.